Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to refactor programming codes using the ChatGPT code interpreter plugin. So as you can see in this example, this is what I have done. I have uploaded a Python code file and using the code interpreter ChatGPT plugin, I was able to use ChatGPT to suggest me improvements and based on that recommendations to refactor the complete code and get an updated code file that I can download from ChatGPT. So to be able to do that, you have to use the code interpreter ChatGPT plugin. So before I show you an actual example on how you can use the code interpreter plugin to refactor complete programming codes, I just want to let you know that I have a full tutorial on this code interpreter ChatGPT plugin, where I talk about some of the use cases of this plugin, and I also share some of the best prompts you can use this plugin with. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see an example on how to refactor codes using the code interpreter plugin. So before we would get access to code interpreter, we could still use ChatGPT to write as code or improve a certain code section we have on our website or on in a web application. But with the code interpreter plugin, now we can upload a complete code file to ChatGPT, explain that code to us and then refactor the complete programming code. So first, let's see how to upload a code file to ChatGPT. So first, you have to make sure that the code interpreter plugin is enabled and you have to have a ChatGPT Plus subscription to be able to do that. If you don't know how to enable it, I have another tutorial on my YouTube channel that you can check out Then click a new chat on the top left, select a GPT-4 and select code interpreter. And now as you can see the upload icon will appear here. So we're going to be able to upload programming code files to the chat GPT conversation. So let's do that. So I will upload a Python file called main.py, which is a file I've downloaded from this auto GPT GitHub project. And let's see what chat GPT will be able to do with this. So all I have to add as a prompt is to analyze this, this code for me and explain to me how this code works. Of course, you can be more specific in your ChatGPT prompts. In this example, I just want to demonstrate that without giving any kind of context to ChatGPT, it will able to read the programming code in this Python file. And based on that code, it will be able to analyze how this code works. So click on send message here. So you can see you don't even have to use any kind of function or use Python or any programming language to be able to enable the code interpreter plugin and use it in ChatGPT. ChatGPT is clever enough to know that if you want to analyze a Python code and if the code interpreter plugin is enabled, it has to use that. And this is what it has done. So if you click on this down arrow, you can see that it has read the content of this file we have uploaded to ChatGPT. And based on that, it will give us an explanation on how this code works. So as you can see, the application integrates a command line interface and seems to be using OpenAI's GPT model to perform various operations. Here is a breakdown of what the main elements of the codes are doing. So as you can see, it talks about the imports, the constants, the function run O2GPT. This is the main function that takes numerous parameters to configure the application and run it. And then ChatGPT will explain how this function works. And in the next ChatGPT prompt, I ask ChatGPT the following question, how this Python code could be improved. Once you have listed out the improvements, also execute your recommendations in the main.py file so I can download it. And as you can see, this is what it has done. So we were able to refactor this code using these recommendations like avoiding the use of global variables, better handling of version checks, better use of type hints, documentation, removing hack and to-do comments. And as you can see, it has implemented suggestion three, four, and five and updated the Python code file. And we can also download it and use it any way we want. So all in all, this is how to use ChatGPT code interpreter, ChatGPT plugin to refactor programming code or to explain how a certain piece of code works. If you want to learn more about other use cases of this code interpreter plugin, I have a ton of ChatGPT plugin tutorials on my YouTube channel. Some of these tutorials show you how the code interpreter plugin can be used 
because there is a ton of application for this plugin, not just for programming, but for data analysis, scientific research, and a lot more. So make sure to check out my YouTube channel because more tutorials are coming up as well. So make sure also to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.